Hello, my name is Paul Tranny, and I want to walk you through how to not only create variables, but make decisions based on those variables so your content actually changes and is much more dynamic. Say, for instance, for this project, I can come in here for color theory. I can select the primary colors, secondary, tertiary. Everything works fine. But as I start to roll over each one of these colors, it currently just highlights the complementary color. Okay, that's great. But what I need to do is I need to be able to turn on, say, split complementary and have this button work differently. So it's going to be defining a variable and then creating a conditional statement that depends on the variable that's defined over here. So if split complementary is selected, it will actually show me the two colors next to that green and not the green, which would be yellow green or blue green. So again, a lot of functionality going on here, but first I need to define these variables in Edge Animate. So going into my project, I can select that text and I can open up the actions for that text and I'm going to select click. So on click, do something. In fact, on click, set a symbol variable. Luckily, there's these code snippets right over here. Let's set that symbol variable. Let's give it a variable name. So this is our container, okay? And in fact, we'll call this uh, color toggle because that's what it's going to do. It's my color toggle. It's going to pick between complementary or split complementary. And since I'm working with complementary, that's what the value needs to be that's going to go in this container. It's complementary just like that. So I've set the value of that variable. In fact, if I want to get that symbol variable right over here, again, a code snippet adding that just like that, I can get that variable name, defining that name. And then anytime I use this variable, which I'm going to change to say my color toggle to be a little bit more descriptive, Anytime I use this variable, it's going to get the contents of this container. So it's going to get the word complementary. Hey, don't believe me? We can add an alert. And it's going to give me a pop-up box that's going to say complementary, just to make sure this is working. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy all of this text because I need to do the same thing for split complementary. So going into the actions for split comp complementary, adding a, the click, and again, setting that variable to split complementary. Okay. And again, an alert box is going to pop up there as well. So let's save this project. Let's run it in a browser. There's my animation that's created in the timeline. And now let's take a look. As I select complementary, we'll get that pop-up dialog that says complementary. Okay? Let's do the same here for split complementary. You can see split com complementary right there as well. So everything's working, but based on what these variables are, I need to do something different when I click on or roll over that red button. So let's do that now. And what I need to do is I'm going to go in here, select this div, and open up the actions for that div. Because currently it has some functionality in it. It's basically going to turn off all the colors and then just show the red and the green divs. Okay. Well, again, I still need to uh, get that symbol variable. That's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to say, hey, you know what? Go ahead and get that symbol variable, which is known as color toggle. Again, it's the same process. Anytime I want to get what's in that container, I will use this variable called my color toggle. So if I want to create a conditional statement, I'll say if my color toggle is equal to complementary. Okay, make sure you have your spelling correctly, done correctly, and then within those two curly braces, that's where you'll add the functionality. In this case, it's these lines. So I'll cut that and paste it right in here. That's my conditional statement. It's an if statement. If it's complementary, again, two equal signs, and then execute this code. 
Otherwise, I can say else if do something differently. So else if it's split complementary, do something else. Okay, so if it's split complementary, I need to turn on the other colors. So I'm going to change this. It's going to be yellow green right here. Turn on yellow green. And then since it's split complement, turn on the green blue as well. So I've just added quite a bit of functionality to this one red button. Okay, defining, excuse me, just getting the variable color toggle, whether it's going to be complementary or split complementary and changing the content depending on that variable. And in fact, with that done, I can go ahead and run this in the browser. There's the animation made in the timeline. Selecting complementary gives me this pop-up. Okay, great. Roll over that. That works just as expected. Let's select split complementary. As you can see, there's that variable value. And now when I roll over it, I get that different functionality. So you can see how that works and how you can expand on that as well to create quite a few things. In fact, if I switch over to the final project because there's actually some other things going on here. So if I select analogous, what I want to happen is, uh, you know, reset the wheel, set that variable to analogous, and then I actually start changing some of the other content as well. So it actually turns on uh, select analogous is what it changes that text to. And then actually kind of turns off uh, the other buttons, okay, which are these two. So I'll show you how that works and what happens in that case for, say, for instance, that red button analogous are the colors next to it. So you can see the else if the red, red, purple, and orange, red will all turn on. And let's run this now. There's the animation. As I select any one of these, you can see how that works. But I can select analogous, and I'll roll over that red. You can see how that looks. And this is for all of the buttons, if you will. I want to change it to split complementary. You can see how that looks. Okay, and this is for all of the buttons. And then lastly, complementary works as you'd as you think it would. All right, so that's how you can create variables, make some decisions based on those variables. Chances are this is going to be one of the first things you do as you get into JavaScript, especially as you start to make some more fun project in, fun projects in Edge Animate.